The goal with the M1 iron was basically to, to create an iron that had the distance and the power and the forgiveness of the original M2 iron, but really produce it in a more compact, more workable package. We know there are golfers out there who prefer uh, a little bit of a sleeker look at a dress, a little bit less offset, but they don't want to give up on the performance they typically get from a game improvement club. And so we took that sort of package of M2, the technologies of M2, the 360 undercut, the fluted hosel, uh, the face slots and the speed pocket, and really put it in a little bit more compact package with a multi-material technology and multi-material construction in the head. Although the technologies of the M1 iron um, are similar to the new M2 iron, there are some distinct differences. In order to achieve that little more compact of a head, head size in the M1, we've had it add tungsten in the toe. So there's a 15 gram tungsten piece that goes right in the toe of the golf club, producing an inertia that's higher than you typically see in this size of a club head, as well as a lower CG. We wanted to create a fluted hosel version on this that didn't interfere with that look. Um, and we wanted to create a very clean look at the front. So this fluted hosel version, the 180 fluted hosel we call it, is actually only fluted on the back of the hosel. And that helps us, again, preserve that look at a dress while still saving weight and producing that lower CG. So the face slots are really a key feature um, on the M1 iron, and they're providing that forgiveness heel toe by providing more ball speed on the shot struck off center. Um, typically of this, this type of head, uh, they're not very forgiving in this little more compact shape. Face loss really makes it play like a much bigger iron than it actually is. The M1 badge, the geoacoustic badge, it performs uh, the function of damping the sound. The fins on the back fit right inside the face slots, which really is where the biggest mode of vibration comes from in the head. If you're the kind of player who occasionally likes to hit a little draw into a left pin or maybe a little fade into a right pin, or just a shot that you know, requires you to hit a shot around trees or something like that, we feel like the M1 is a, is a club that's really gonna be able to, to help you do that, uh, deliver that shot.